Hey guys and welcome. Today I'm going to be showing you how to put ISO slash CSOs on your PSP, which is pretty much games. I'm not going to show you where to get them because, well, of course, that'd be illegal and everything. But, and don't be sending me dumb comments and messages saying that just threaten me or something because that's stupid. I'm not even going to pay attention. If anything, I'll report you. Alright. Well, let me get started. First, let me try on my PSP. This is a PSP Slim, the new Daxter edition. Um, most people don't like it, but I do. Most people don't like it because they don't know what you can do with it. They don't know how to, you know, put custom firmware and stuff on it, so they don't get it. They buy the old crappy ones. I'm not saying they're crappy, but th I don't like them. They're old. Well, first, let me show you my firmware version. As you can see, I have 3.71 M33-4. Kind of hard to see because of my background, but I do. 3.71 M33-4. You must have custom firmware to do this. If not, don't even try it. It will not work. Alright, first, what you want to do, you want to go into, sorry about that, USB mode. USB mode. Alright, now what you want to do, you want to go to your removable disk, and they pop up for you. Mine have to do mine manually. Here it is. Removable disk F is mine. Now you should have a folder called ISO if you have custom firmware. If not, make a folder and name it ISO. There should be nothing in there but a folder called video. Do not mess with that video folder. You don't need to mess with it. What you want to do, you want to go to the game you downloaded. I have mine, all my stuff, and PSP stuff. Everything in there. And I even call it game folder. Game folder. Alright, let's see. Today, we'll let's put it on, I don't know, Burnout Dominator. Alright, what you want to do, you want to right click and copy. Go back to the ISO folder and just paste it. Right click and then paste. Now, as you can see, this will take a while because it is a big file. What I recommend is, you know, go getting a snack or something because <laughs> it does take a couple minutes. This is a, probably a smaller game file, 394. That's not that big compared to the other ones that I put on, which are about 600, 700, and then take about five minutes, depending on your computer speed. And this is a new Vista, so it's fast. Minute 15, all right, that's not so bad. Probably about two minutes, though. But as I'm saying, remember, you must have custom firmware, and by that, I mean M33. Pretty much. Um, I had 3.71 M33-4. Um, any M33 will work because you can go to recovery mode. Um, you can get this by Pandora's battery right here. I got this off of eBay for 80 bucks. It, it was so worth it because my PSP was brick. It was not working because I tried to... I think I tried to put something on there and it didn't work. I would try to update it or something and it didn't work. I was a really big noob back then, so... Well, about a month ago, but I figured it all out. And it would, and make sure if you buy a Pandora's battery, make sure it comes with a 1 gig memory card with um, Universal and Breaker and stuff. It will make your life so much easier. Alright, as you can see, it's done. What you want to do, you want to exit out and exit out your USB mode. Now what you want to do, you want to shut off your PSP. Just hold it until the, it's fully powered off. Alright, now you want to turn it back on and hold the right trigger. <coughs> then it should go to recovery mode. Alright, what you want to do, you want to go to configuration. Press, press X. And you want to make sure you're running on 1.50 kernel. If you're not running on 1.50 kernel, then change it. So from M33 to 150 kernel, or else it won't work. Right. Now what you want to do, you want to exit this, and you want to just go down to exit, and your PSP should restart. Alright, now what you want to do, 
if you have recovery mode, you should have this neat feature. All you need to do is pr press select. I'm going to make your life a lot easier on this. What you want to do, you want to scroll down to UMD ISO mode. It's right there. It's kind of hard to see because my background, but should have thought about that. But it should say normal if you haven't changed it already. What you want to do, you want to press the, the right little button thingy over here. Sorry, I'm like tired. Just click that, press that, until you reach Sony NP9660. After that, just press select. Alright, now what you want to do, you want to go to memory stick. You should, it should be there, burnout dominator. Just press X. And it should load. As you can see, that's how you put an ISO slash CSO in your PSP. Hope you all have fun, and um, if you have any questions or comment or video requests, just send me a message on my page, Halo2Junkies, on YouTube.com. I'll be happy to as soon as I can. See ya.